Hey everyone, welcome back to Smart Life. In today's video, we're going to talk about something that sounds complex, but it's actually super useful once you get it. Templates in Home Assistant. This is one of the most powerful tools available and I'm going to show you how it works using simple templates from my own smart home. So let's jump in. What is a template? A template in Home Assistant is like a tiny piece of smart logic. It lets you create virtual sensors, combine multiple values and make smarter automations or display custom data on your dash dashboard, like from how long the device was on. You write templates in a format called Jinja2. But don't worry, that sounds fancy, but we won't get into anything complicated. I will show you exactly how they work using examples. What can you do with templates? Let me give you some real examples that I use in my house. For example, track how long your TV is on every day. This is the example we're gonna do in this episode. I use an IKEA smart plug with a power meter to monitor my TV. Even when the TV is off, it uses about one watt in standby. So I created a template binary sensor that turns on only when the plug reports more than two watts. That way I can accurately track how long the TV was on, perfect for monitoring screen time or energy usage. What else can we do? Combine values for multiple sensors. I have a Shelly 3EM energy meter that reports usage from each phase separately. You can see on my screen here I have the total power consumption. Using a template I add all three phases together to create a new virtual sensor that shows me the total power usage in real time. Simple but very useful. What else can you do? Monitor devices that don't report their own status. For example, I have a hydrophore, basically a water pump. It doesn't say when it's working, but it's connected to a smart plug. So I created a template that looks for power usage and turns on a virtual sensor when it detects the pump is running. Now I can track exactly how long it's been running and spot any unusual behavior. So the bottom line is, Templates let you create your own sensors and logic and even if your device don't offer these features out of the box, you can do them with templates. Now that you get the idea, let's go through a real working example together. How I use a template to track how long my TV is on every day using a smart plug. So for step one, we need to create a binary sensor to detect when the TV is on. So we need to go to inside your configuration YAML. You find that in on the left hand side here, file editor and this will pop up. This is my configuration YAML and I have a few templates, sensors and uh, other stuff in here. You probably won't have them, but don't worry, that's no problem. In case you don't get the configuration YAML at first, you just need to go to this file here and then click on configuration YAML and then you'll find it right here. Next step is uh, to paste in a code uh, right here in the configuration YAML. Uh, I'm gonna paste it exactly here and then I'm ex gonna explain you why. I'm gonna look where the line is for the binary sensor and I'm gonna try to paste it exactly there. You see, it's not exactly there and I got this uh, exclamation mark with red, that means that is not correct. So I need to go a little bit back and now you see it's in line with this binary sensor here and it says it's correct. Uh, another observation I need to make, uh, you probably won't have this template written here. If you don't, you need to write this template exactly as it is and then paste in your binary sensor. Uh, keep the formatting as it is. You can only change the name and you need to change the sensor Panasonic TV plug power. That's my uh, plug, but you need to change that with your actual sensor. You can find that in developer tools and look the, uh, for the exact entity name. What we need to do next is save the configuration and we need to restart, but don't do it yet because we're gonna do something else and then we're gonna restart, not to restart it twice. So what we did here, we created a binary sensor, a virtual sensor that uh, turns on when the TV is on, measured by the power usage of the smart plug. Now for step two, we need to create a sensor that tracks the time on today for this device to see how long the device is on every day. Still in the same configuration YAML, under the sensor section, we need to add this code. In my case, I will scroll down because I have some more sensors. In your case, if you don't have this sensor, you need to write sensor and then exactly as it is here and then you will paste in the code I'm gonna show you right now. As you saw from before, it needs to be exact in the same place like the other sensors you have, in case you have some. In case you don't, it will be no problem. As you can see, it says it's correct. We need to save uh, the file and that is it. Normally we have to restart Home Assistant right now. So let's do that. We need to go to settings, system and restart Home Assistant. We'll be back after restart. My Home Assistant has restarted. 
we need to check that what we did until now is correct. So we need to head on to developer tools and we need to look for the two sensors we created earlier. I'm gonna write just TV and maybe on. This is the two sensors we done today. Binary sensor TV on, which is off because uh, it's not on as we speak because it's not consuming any power and sensor TV on time today. This is gonna monitor when this goes on. So until here, everything is great. Let's put this in the dashboard and then I'm gonna turn on the TV and let's see if the sensor TV on time today changes. Now let's add this to the dashboard to make it easier to follow. Uh, in my case, I have this tutorial dashboard. So we need to go to this line here and we're gonna add a card. In our case, we're gonna put entity and Right here where it says entity, we're going to change this with the TV on today. This is the one and just save and done. So this is the TV on today. I'm going to go turn on the TV and then I'm going to leave it for one, two minutes. TV was on about three minutes. So we're back in home assistant to check if the things we done today worked. So as you can see on my screen here, the value of the time changed. The TV on today time is four minutes. So templates are really, really useful. You can uh, get insights your, uh, of your devices that can give you by default. It helps you save energy and gives you control over screen time. Uh, maybe if your kids are, kids are watching too much TV, you can see in Home Assistant how long for they are watching. And that is it. With just a smart plug and two simple templates, you now have a full system to track your TV usage automatically. You can copy this logic and use it for washing machines, heating, gaming consoles, uh, or anything you plug into a smart socket. If it helped, give a thumbs up and subscribe to Smart Life for more tutorial like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.